Welcome to the Fix Sleep Bedtime Stories channel, your sanctuary for relaxation, meditation, and a peaceful sleep. Immerse yourself in the soothing embrace of sleep-inducing tales, carefully crafted to transport you to mysterious lands. Let the gentle rain and serene sounds of nature accompany you on this journey to relaxation. Say goodbye to restless nights and welcome the embrace of a restful sleep with our magical sleep stories. So, let the tale begin. The Phoenix Silver Egg Chapter 1 The Discovery Mira was wandering through the dense, ancient forest near her village, a place filled with secrets and tales of old. The villagers often spoke in hushed tones about the enchanted woods, where time seemed to stand still and nature thrived untouched by the modern world. Mira had always felt a deep connection to the forest, drawn to its serenity and the sense of mystery that enveloped it. She would often lose herself in the labyrinth of trees, finding solace and inspiration in its untouched beauty. One such quiet afternoon in the woodland was filled with the sound of chirping birds and rustling leaves. Dapples created by sunlight peeping through the canopy decorated the wood floor. Excitement rushing through her, Mira embarked on a journey of exploration unlike anything she had ever encountered. With each inhale, she felt revitalized and full of energy, the air taste wonderfully clean and fragrant with wildflowers and pine. As she ventured deeper into the forest, Mira felt an inexplicable pull, as if something unseen was guiding her steps. She moved with a sense of purpose, her curiosity piqued by the unfamiliar route. The path wound through clusters of ancient trees, their gnarled branches stretching out like welcoming arms. The ground beneath her feet was soft with moss, and the occasional shafts of sunlight illuminated her way. After a while, Mira noticed a faint glimmer ahead. Intrigued, she quickened her pace, her heart pounding with excitement. As she drew closer, she saw that the glimmer was coming from beneath a thick layer of moss and fallen leaves. Dropping to her knees, she began to carefully brush away the debris, her fingers trembling with anticipation. What she uncovered took her breath away. Hidden beneath the forest floor was a large, silver egg, its surface shimmering with an otherworldly glow. The egg was unlike anything Mira had ever seen, its smooth shell reflecting the sunlight in a myriad of colors. It was as if the egg held a universe within it, a cosmos of light and color that seemed to dance and shift as she gazed upon it. Intrigued and slightly apprehensive, Mira reached out and gently lifted the egg from its resting place. To her surprise, the egg was warm to the touch, pulsating gently in her hands as if it had a heartbeat of its own. A sense of awe washed over her, mingling with a growing sense of wonder. She had heard legends of the mythical phoenix, a bird of fire and rebirth that was said to rise from its own ashes. But she never imagined that she would encounter such a creature, let alone find its egg in the heart of the forest. As she cradled the egg, Mira's mind raced with possibilities. The phoenix was a symbol of renewal and immortality, its flames capable of bringing both destruction and rebirth. The thought of what lay within the egg filled her with both excitement and trepidation. She knew that this was a discovery of immense significance, one that could change her life forever. Without a second thought, Mira decided to take the egg home. 
she carefully wrapped it in her shawl, creating a makeshift cradle to protect it during the journey. With the egg securely nestled in her arms, she began the trek back to her village, her mind buzzing with questions and possibilities. The forest seemed to part before her, as if acknowledging the importance of her newfound treasure. As she walked, Mira couldn't help but marvel at the weight of the egg and the warmth that radiated from it. It was a constant reminder of the life that slumbered within, waiting to emerge. The journey home seemed longer than usual, her steps slower as she navigated the familiar paths with her precious cargo. Each step brought her closer to the unknown, to a future that was now inextricably linked with the fate of the phoenix egg. Upon reaching her cottage, Mira carefully placed the egg in a warm, secluded corner. She prepared a soft nest of blankets to cushion it, ensuring that it was safe from any harm. As she watched over the egg, a sense of responsibility settled upon her. She knew that the days ahead would be filled with uncertainty and challenges, but she was ready to face them. The discovery of the phoenix egg had ignited a spark within her, a flame of hope and determination that burned brightly. Mira spent the evening sitting by the egg, her mind filled with dreams of what was to come. The forest, with all its secrets and mysteries, had gifted her something extraordinary. As night fell, and the cottage was bathed in the soft glow of moonlight, Mira made a silent promise to the phoenix within the egg. She would protect it, nurture it, and together they would uncover the magic that lay ahead. Chapter 2 The Hatching Days turned into weeks as Mira diligently cared for the mysterious egg. From the moment she brought it home, she treated it with utmost reverence and care. She placed the egg in a warm, secluded corner of her cozy cottage, ensuring it was safe from prying eyes and potential harm. Every morning, she would check on it, her heart swelling with anticipation and hope. The egg's surface continued to shimmer with its ethereal glow, a constant reminder of the life growing within. Mira had always been fascinated by the legends of the phoenix, and the egg's presence filled her days with wonder. She read everything she could find about the mythical bird, poring over old texts and speaking with the village elders who knew the ancient stories. The more she learned, the more determined she became to see the egg safely hatch. She knew that her life, and perhaps the world, would be forever changed by the creature that lay within. The days were long, but Mira didn't mind the wait. She would sit by the egg for hours, talking to it softly, singing lullabies, and sharing her thoughts and dreams. She wanted the creature inside to feel her love and care, to know that it was safe and cherished. Her connection to the egg grew stronger with each passing day, and she often found herself daydreaming about the moment it would finally hatch. One evening, Mira was taking care of her chores as the sun sank below the horizon, bathing the cottage in the gentle golden light of dusk. The sound of the fireplace crackling and the rhythmic sweeping filled the room, lulling her into a meditative state. Abruptly, a clear and unanticipated quiet cracking sound entered her ears. Her pulse was pounding with anticipation as she froze. Is that possible? She rushed to the egg, her breath catching in her throat as she saw fine cracks spreading across its shimmering surface. The egg, which had been so smooth and whole, was now breaking apart.
Mira watched in awe, her eyes wide with wonder and anticipation. The cracks grew larger, and pieces of the shell began to fall away, revealing glimpses of what lay inside. Mira was astounded as the shell finally cracked open, revealing an incredible creature inside. It did so slowly and with such grace and majesty. Mira had never seen a chick like the Phoenix Girl before. Each of its gorgeous silver and flaming red feathers caught the light and reflected it in a spectacular show of color. The chick had depths of understanding that belied its youth, and its eyes sparkled with an intelligent, almost human-like awareness. As the phoenix chick stretched its wings for the first time, a wave of warmth and magic filled the room. Mira could feel the power emanating from the young phoenix, a tangible force that seemed to pulse with life and energy. It was as if the air around them was charged with electricity, every particle humming with the presence of the mythical bird. Mira knelt beside the phoenix, her eyes shining with tears of joy and amazement. She reached out a tentative hand, and the chick nuzzled against her palm, its feathers soft and warm. In that moment, Mira felt a profound connection to the phoenix, a bond that went beyond words. She knew that her life was now intertwined with this extraordinary being, and that together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead. The days that followed were filled with a sense of wonder and discovery. Mira cared for the phoenix chick, feeding it, nurturing it, and watching in awe as it grew stronger and more magnificent with each passing day. The chick's powers became more evident, its magic a constant presence in their lives. It could heal with a touch, create flames that danced in mesmerizing patterns, and its song was a melody that filled Mira's heart with hope and courage. Mira named the phoenix Ignis, a fitting name for a creature of fire and rebirth. Ignis quickly became an integral part of her life, their bond growing deeper with each shared moment. Mira felt a renewed sense of purpose and determination, knowing that she was destined to protect and nurture this incredible being. The future was uncertain, but with Ignis by her side, she felt ready to face whatever came their way. The hatching of the phoenix was not just the birth of a magnificent creature. It was the beginning of a new chapter in Mira's life. The days of waiting and wondering were over, replaced by a journey of discovery and adventure. As Mira looked into Ignis's wise and knowing eyes, she knew that their story was only just beginning, and that together they would forge a path filled with magic, courage, and endless possibilities. Chapter 3 the growth. As the weeks turned into months, the phoenix, now named Ignis, grew rapidly under Mira's diligent care. From a small, delicate chick, Ignis transformed into a magnificent creature, its feathers a brilliant mix of silver and fiery red. Each day brought new wonders as Ignis's powers became more pronounced filling their lives with magic and a sense of purpose. Mira was fascinated by Ignis's abilities. She marveled at the bird's power to heal wounds with a mere touch of its feathers. One evening, Mira accidentally cut her hand while preparing dinner. Ignis, sensing her pain, gently brushed its wing against the wound. To Mira's astonishment, the cut healed instantly, leaving no trace of injury. This miraculous healing power was just one of many gifts Ignis possessed. Ignis's flames were another source of wonder. 
Unlike ordinary fire, Ignis's flames were warm, but never burned unless intended. They danced in mesmerizing patterns, creating shapes and images that told stories of old. Sometimes, Ignis would create a fiery display that resembled the great phoenixes of legend. Their wings spread wide as they soared through the skies. Mira watched in awe, knowing that she was witnessing something truly extraordinary. One of the most remarkable aspects of Ignis's abilities was its foresight. The phoenix could see glimpses of the future, a gift that both intrigued and unsettled Mira. Ignis would often share these visions with her through vivid images and emotions, guiding her actions and decisions. It was during one of these visions that Ignis revealed a dark and looming threat. One night, as Mira sat by the fireplace, Ignis perched on a nearby chair, its eyes glowing with a strange intensity. Mira felt a sudden wave of emotion wash over her, a mixture of fear and determination. Ignis began to project images into her mind. A dark figure clad in armor, a sinister grin on his face, and an army of mercenaries at his command. This was Kale the Conqueror, a malevolent warrior driven by greed and the desire for power. He had learned of Ignis's existence and was determined to capture the phoenix for his own sinister purposes. Mira felt a chill run down her spine as she absorbed the vision. Kale was known throughout the land for his cruelty and ambition. He sought to dominate and control, and the thought of him capturing Ignis filled her with dread. She knew that they had to prepare for the inevitable confrontation. The next few days were devoted to rigorous training and getting ready. Mira worked on her bow technique until she could hit a target with absolute precision. Along with learning how to use the magic that Ignis had taught her, she also discovered new ways to maximize its potency. In an effort to keep themselves and their house safe, they planned tactics and placed traps throughout the forest. Ignis was essential to their planning, helping Mira through the intricacies of magic and using its intuition to predict Kale's next move. Day by day, their relationship grew closer. It was based on courage, trust, and a common goal. Mira experienced a surge of power and resolved to conquer the obstacles that awaited her. One evening, as they sat by the fire, Mira turned to Ignis, her eyes filled with resolve. We will face this together, she said, her voice steady. Ignis chirped in agreement, its feathers glowing brightly in the firelight. Mira knew that their journey would not be easy, but with Ignis by her side, she felt ready to face whatever came their way. The bond between Mira and Ignis was more than just a connection between a human and a mythical creature. It was a partnership forged in the fires of adversity and strengthened by their shared experiences. They understood each other in ways that transcended words. Their hearts and minds linked by a profound sense of destiny. As the days turned into weeks, the threat of Kale loomed ever closer. Chapter 4 The Confrontation Mira and Ignis knew they had to prepare for the inevitable confrontation with Kale. They spent their days honing their skills, Mira practicing with her bow and learning to wield the magic that Ignis shared with her. The bond they had formed over the months was strong a partnership forged in trust and mutual respect. Mira's mornings were filled with archery practice, her arrows flying swift and true. Her afternoons were dedicated to understanding the magical energies that Ignis imbued her with. She learned to 
create barriers of fire, heal minor wounds, and even glimpse fragments of the future, all under Ignis's watchful guidance. Their evenings were spent devising strategies and setting traps around the forest. Ignis used its foresight to predict Kale's moves, and together they constructed a series of defensive measures designed to thwart any advance. They created hidden pits covered with leaves and branches, snares made from strong vines, and illusionary paths that led to nowhere. Every detail was meticulously planned, each trap a testament to their determination to protect their home and each other. The day of reckoning arrived sooner than they expected. The sun had barely risen when the ground began to tremble under the heavy footsteps of Kale and his band of mercenaries. The air crackled with tension, a palpable sense of foreboding settling over the forest. Birds took flight, and small animals scurried to their burrows, sensing the impending danger. Mira and Ignis stood their ground, hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and resolve. This was the moment they had prepared for, the ultimate test of their strength and unity. Kale, clad in dark, imposing armor and wielding a massive sword, stormed into the forest with his mercenaries. His eyes gleamed with a malevolent hunger, his mind set on capturing the phoenix and harnessing its power for his own nefarious purposes. The mercenaries, hardened warriors all, spread out, their weapons gleaming menacingly in the early morning light. The battle was fierce and intense from the outset. Mira's arrows flew with precision, each shot guided by Ignis's insights. She struck down several mercenaries before they even realized where the attacks were coming from. Ignis's flames danced around them, creating barriers of fire that thwarted the attackers and forced them into the traps they had set. The air was filled with the clash of steel, the roar of flames, and the cries of the wounded. Kale's warriors were skilled, but they were no match for the combined might of Mira and Ignis. The forest itself seemed to come alive, aiding Mira and Ignis in their defense. Trees creaked and groaned, their branches reaching down to entangle and trip the mercenaries. Roots erupted from the ground, wrapping around legs and pulling men down. It was as if the very spirit of the forest had joined the battle, determined to protect its own. In the midst of the chaos, Kale himself advanced, cutting through the forest with ruthless efficiency. His eyes burned with rage and determination, his every move calculated to bring him closer to his goal. Mira and Ignis could see him coming, their hearts stealing for the inevitable confrontation. Kale eventually made it to them, and the smell of burning wood and smoke filled the air. With his enormous blade glittering menacingly in the firelight, he faced Mira and Ignis. His goal obvious, he sprang for Ignis with a roar of rage. But Mira took the lead, courage unshakable in her heart. She lifted her bow, made an arrow, and released it. Although the arrow hit Kale's armor, it was unable to get through. He threw his sword at Mira, but Ignis moved to block the blow with its strong wings, forming a wall of fire that stopped the strike. Ignis let out a powerful cry, releasing a burst of magical energy that enveloped Kale. The energy surged through him, rendering him powerless. His sword fell from his hands, and he collapsed to his knees. A look of shock and disbelief on his face. Defeated and humiliated, Kale struggled to his feet and fled, vowing to return. Mira and Ignis watched him disappear into the forest, their bond stronger than ever. The battle had tested their limits, 
but they had emerged victorious. They knew that more challenges lay ahead, but together they were ready to face anything. The legend of the Silver Phoenix and its brave guardian began to spread, inspiring tales of hope and courage in the hearts of those who heard it. Word of their victory traveled quickly, and soon people from nearby villages began to speak of the brave girl and the mythical bird that had defended their home. Mira and Ignis became symbols of resilience and hope, their story a beacon of light in a world often shrouded in darkness. As they stood together in the aftermath of the battle, Mira and Ignis knew that their journey was far from over. But they also knew that, whatever the future held, they would face it together, their spirits unbroken, and their hearts filled with the fire of determination. <laughs>